All right, guys, welcome back. I'm excited for this one. I know it's about six, five or six hours late since this was released, but I was at work. Not really much I could do about that. Oh, well. Anyway, we finally got the Chinese exclusive Dragon Hunter set. They've had this set available in China since about the start of Delve League. This plus the wings plus the pet were released over there. Uh, they also got pets to pick up currency, but we're not we're not getting that, I don't think. Anyway, they've had it. We're now getting it. I'm excited. So we're going to be taking a look at that today. I'm going to show you the set on all classes, no commentary first. Just a quick overview so you guys can see what it looks like on the class that you're playing. And then after we go over that, I'll give you guys just some quick thoughts off the top of my head of what I like about the set, what I don't like about a set, maybe what works, what doesn't, and uh, maybe some quick combos, whether or not I think it's worth it. I know like with these sets in particular, like the item shop non-supporter pack sets, it can be a, a little bit harder to justify sometimes since you're just like straight spending points for it and not like buying a supporter pack. So I just want to make sure you guys know what you're getting and we'll go from there. Let's get started. Okay, after having got a good look at this armor on every class, I think there's some def there's definitely some things that I like, and there's definitely some classes that wear it better than others, and there's definitely some things that I don't like. I know just right off the bat that there doesn't seem to be too many differences in the armor based on which class is wearing it. There are some subtle differences in silhouette, and of course there's differences in sizing, but it's not terribly, terribly noticeable. It seems to me that the Marauder and the Duelist with like the hulking frame where it really wear like the bulky armor and better than like the smaller classes do i would say the templar wears the armor all right but there's some forward clipping around his shoulders when he's stationary and that sometimes doesn't look all that good with like the horns of the dragon constantly clipping into the chest um as far as the actual chest armor itself goes i i'm not completely sold on it i do however really like the helm Although the thing I noticed about the helm in general is that it tends to not have anything covering the neck. So if you try to combo it with an armor that also does not have a neck piece, you end up getting this weird uh, floating neck thing like you get with some of the skulls. Like where you have like the skull detached from the head and you have like, this weird fleshy neck in between the, the skull and the body. It's like it's very noticeable here on this uh, Undertaker armor. Not like you'd ever match this with this anyway, but it's just an example of what I'm talking about. So while the helm is very cool, like I love the helmet. I think the helmet's very striking with like the the inline spikes and the kind of V-shaped visor. There's only a handful of armors that I think you could wear it with, not that one. Maybe like the automaton if it wasn't so sharply dropping off at the edge there. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick that I thought was really cool is the wings. Now. I didn't show you guys the wings too much with the body armor itself because the wings really are they're a lot and I do I do like these wings I think in general these wings are top three but you definitely have to be a fan of wings to like these they have they have good physics they have good trails they have good lighting I'm gonna go to delve real quick to show you the lighting effects on them but like they're, they're nice wings but you have to be a fan of a fan of wings and I know a lot of people don't like the more obtrusive back attachments people like a lot more like the capes are more reserved and like something like this would be like these are absolutely massive but I guess, like, if, if, if it's your thing, then, like, go for it. Like, I personally, I really, I really love the wings. What I, if, if, if I wasn't, if I wasn't a collector 
would I spot for the armor? Probably not. I don't think I would have bought the armor. I think I would have bought the helm just by itself. Here's another thing I wanted to show you. When you go into like an area that has global illumination, the wings themselves are mapped to have like a sort of bluish vein in them that becomes visible when you go into the dark. You can see here on the wings themselves. Whoa, that's, that's going to be some XP lost. You can see on the wings themselves like they have glowing bluish veins. They're only visible in areas with, glo uh, with uh, global illumination. So it's just something to notice. See up here you can't really see that they have those veins. They appear more grayish. So yeah, that's the Dragon Hunter set, guys. Let me know if there's anything I missed, if there's anything else you would like to see comboed with it. I honestly think like the set itself is really cool. Like I, I, I'm really happy with the set. The body armor is all right. It's, the helmet, it's really nice. The wings, really nice. The gloves and boots are gloves and boots. We've all got tons of gloves and boots. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.